So the next um, Facebook Messenger chatbot flow blueprint that I want to share with you is a blueprint that I built for network marketing industry. Now, not just for network marketing industry, I would like to say that this is really um, similar and useful for uh, professionals. If you are in network marketing, multi-level marketing, even if you are an insurance agent, or if you are a coach, if you are in um, you know, um, some business that requires certain profiling of uh, customers uh, in order to increase uh, the level of trust or confidence in you, your business, and uh, even to you know, further nurture them into different category. So this is actually a sample flow that you want to look into. You see, for these industries, the whole idea is about, you know, getting information about the audience so that we are able to offer tailored solution to them. So network marketing that we are using here is actually a more like a nutrition-based or weight management network marketing. Um, so it, it gives you a better idea about what are the things that you can do. Uh, but remember, all the flows that we are building, all the blueprint that we built from Facebook Messenger chatbot flow, um, I'm really focusing on uh, achieving two key benefits. The first one is we want to build chatbot because we want to save time. Because to be frank, nobody in the world has all the time you know, to respond on time to all the, rest, uh, the, the people who start talking to you on the messenger level. However, on the other hand, um, we human nowadays always demand instancy. So if you are not able to respond to me the moment I'm interested in your product, uh, half an hour could be too long for me to look for someone else and probably start buying from them. So the sole purpose of doing a bot is really to help you bring people to where they are effectively in the fastest way possible. So when you're crafting a bot uh, blueprint or a chatbot planning, you shouldn't be focusing on solving all the problems. But we want to solve problems that matters to our business. First, the frequently asked questions, the commonly happened problems or scenarios that we want to handle. Second thing is, you know, those that actually bring us revenue and profit. So two objectives, we want to save time and you want to increase the revenue. So let's get into building uh, the board. So usually this is what we do. When we discuss any blueprint for the messenger flow, uh, we will just go through the steps on, uh, you know, what are the things that you can do. Uh, you know, this is actually the blueprint that I plan as a sample. So please don't take this as it is. Uh, although, if you are in our Facebook Ads Accelerator program, you'll be able to download this flow and uh, to look at, refer to it and start building yours. But um, I do encourage that you always examine back into your business and see what are the important things that you want to you know, put in or actually to remove from the whole flow. So let's start from the very beginning. So we always start from uh, the starting step. Now, a few rule of thumb when we are building a flow. For, um, when we are building a chatbot, first, we want to address the person who comes in by the name. So, um, ManyChat gives us a very useful tool here, this slide, which is by putting in this, you know, this is the bracket, by clicking on it, you're able to put in either, just pull the information directly from their profile. Immediately here, yeah, I will be seeing if it's me, I'll be saying, that, hey Jason, welcome in. This is Grace, uh, certified MyWave fitness coach. Hey Wave. Now, um, over here, you see the second rule of thumb. If you can, especially at the very beginning, use more emojis because emoji softens the whole so-called feeling towards the bot because, you know, when we are talking to machine, we know it's a machine. So uh, having this a little bit of emoji here and there kind of make it more human. And second thing that you can consider doing, or the third one, is to give your bot a name. So here is Grace. You know, if you look back at my other bots, uh, I have some Sophia there. Erin, Erica, I don't know. <laughs> go over, uh, I even have Billy, Eric, just go over and take a look at other flows. So giving your bot a name, okay, um, makes it more human. So um, I'll be even, you know, frankly, I do have people when they're responding to the bot, they really say that, thank you, Grace, you're so good, Grace, thank you for bringing me in, Grace, uh, uh, to do where I want, Grace. So you can imagine how important a name it is, okay? So, okay, when you have a name, and uh, another rule of thumb here is we try to break our messages into shorter. You see, like for now, I can actually combine the first sentence and the second sentence together into one. However, I don't do that because um, when we are reading message on Messenger or on WhatsApp, uh, we are very used to short messages where when we are typing with our friends, when we are conversing on the Messenger, right? We don't type long thing and just pump, let's let it go. We usually just type one sentence and one sentence. That also is a, in a way to make it more human. 
Okay, so come in here and in between you can also consider using this delay. This is a delay. I just want to quickly show you this is a delay. Okay, you can go over to the video where I talk about how to build a bot from scratch. I will walk you through each and every one of the features. But over here, I assume that we will look at the flow blueprint. You already know how to do this. So we will just dive in into looking at how we build a blueprint and what is behind the reason. Uh, okay, so now when it comes to the, this, uh, this, this Grace thing, Grace, Grace is a certified fitness coach. So um, this is really an MLM business, a network marketing business. So uh, immediately, we focus on the things that we are good at and we don't want to give too many options at the get-go. Okay, we don't want to overwhelm our audience uh, at the first message. We want them to start taking action. Okay, here we give only three options. So, you know, first, what is, I, I, I want to be slim. So this is yes, this is the first thing that I want you to look at. And then followed by what's my way. So which is the company name. And uh, each will lead to different one. And talk to Grace, which is the last option that we have here. Okay, now, if somebody click on, I want to be slim. Now, the first thing here, we will add an action, which is to tag. Now, the reason why we tag is because we want to group these audiences into different categories. Now, this is really useful thing that you have to start doing it from the very beginning because um, when you have too many categories of different audiences that actually will go different direction, you want to be sure to group them together so that you won't be, a, you won't be sending them the wrong message that you know, may not be suitable for them. So this is really useful to get it from the very beginning. So, um, so the first one we're looking at here is I want to be slim and move forward. We bring them in, tag, and then we will send them the first message and say, that, hey, congratulations, let's get working. Okay, then I'll say that I, I, I'm going to tailor a solution for you. Can you help answer a few questions over here? So yeah, well, always give people the options. Of course, there could be somebody who says, I am, I'm not interested. So if they don't do that, then I'll probably start from here first. And we say that it's okay, uh, Jason, I completely understand. How about I give you a call? So for these people, there could be a group of people who are more reserved. They are more personal. Um, I probably don't feel comfortable revealing too much information before I know you, before I talk to you. So you want to give them the opportunity to have different kind of conversation with you. And uh, to be frank, for all the flows, uh, blueprints that I built, you know, when you're building a messenger chat bot, you're not trying to be chatty on the bot. You want to end the conversation at the right time and bring them offline. So the whole idea is at any point when you're ending a conversation, I always emphasize on this, ask for the phone number. Okay, so this is the best way because no matter how technology changed the whole world and all this kind of thing, right? Uh, nothing beats the real connection that, you know, when we are able to talk to each other. Okay, so this is where we are, you know, when somebody says, I'm not interested, it's okay. And we say that, you know, bring them in, let me talk to you, let me give you a call. I know it's a bit overwhelming. So this is entirely up to you how you want to craft your message. But remember, it's each message, we try to make it really short. And we try to make it more personalized. You see, all of this, I have the name and the name being emphasized over and over again. Okay, so this is how you build when somebody wants to, um, you know, go for a more private conversation. But for those who are more open, immediately we start asking them a series of questions. Now, the first question that I have here is about your height. And, you know, then I ask for your weight. Now, you may ask me, Jason, why do you want to break into options when all of them goes back to the same next question? Now, this is not a so-called questionnaire kind of thing. This is really to get them to click on it so that it stays in the conversation. When I look back at the conversation before I call you, I'll be able to know that, oh, okay, you're actually 161 and you're 60 kg to 70 kg. And then uh, you are not a vegetarian and all this kind of thing. So it's about qualifying them by getting more information. Not necessarily I'm trying to build a so-called questionnaire thing that follows each and every one of them. No, I'm not trying to offer the solution using the board. I'm only using the board to qualify my audiences. Remember that. Okay, so we have different, different height, different weight, whether they are vegetarian, whether they have any dietary restrictions. You see, all of this lead back to the last one. Okay, so we we'll say that that's enough info for now. Thank you. Okay, Jason, let me work on the directory recommendation. Now, I want your phone number. So it makes it so natural. Imagine if you are a person who are new to this and you stumble upon my board and you start talking to me. After you being asked so many questions, after you put in the answer for so many questions, you're already immersed you know, into the whole experience that we already created for you. And on the other hand, I got more information of you which allows me to take a more personalized approach when I 
really pick up the phone and call you. So that's the purpose of us doing this. So if you want to put it into your other scenario, if you're a financial planner, for example, you can always ask questions such as, you know, um, what is your status right now? Do you have loan? You know, what is the current struggle? And always try to put uh, selection. We don't want people to just type in, not to the right point, okay? Because we are using all these to qualify them, to categorize them, to get more information about them. Remember, the idea is about getting information and ultimately, we want to talk to them. So don't try to be chatty. Don't try to get them to input so much of the information that they have, unless you're like my other blueprint, such as, you know, when you're handling command, you're handling complaints, you're handling people who want to actually look for some property for rent and all this kind of thing, which yes, we need to do that. But ultimately, we want a phone number. Okay, so this is how you do it when it comes to the slimming direction, which is the first button. Then the next one is, you know, when somebody who's interested in your company, we also put a tag. Then we will go in and say that, hey, yo, I'm so interested, excited that you want to know about the company, uh, Jason. So it gives a brief intro and something really brief. Break it into short messages. Don't make it in a big chunk. Yeah, it doesn't look good. But having said that, you may pick one of the areas to understand more. So you want to look for the product certificate, which you can link them to a landing page that shows all this kind of thing. Well, this works for people who are into digging on the information. Okay, so you can have another link that goes to the uh, company background. But immediately, if you want to have it, you can actually have a link for somebody who are interested in becoming a distributor. So you can start, you know, making it more personalized. Okay, followed by, you know, I, I can't wait to work with you. So can I know more? What do you want to know more? It's the marketing plan or you want to directly becoming a distributor. So marketing plan, you can put in a little bit more things such as, uh, you know, uh, a video over here that I put in here and then the video you can also follow by a link to link them to the marketing plan as you can see here you see I always end with this however nothing beats the face-to-face -face explanation let's get in touch let's talk to each other soon so this one is also very much similar only I take off the video so basically I put in a different kind of message now this is who somebody who really want to directly become a distributor hence you will lead to this so I say that hey I can't work wait to work with you already so yeah, just give me an IC and uh, I'll be able to actually start doing this with you. So yeah, the whole idea is like at the, end, at the end of the day, I always ask for phone number. This is how I will end my conversation in any of the flows or the so-called the chatbot that I built. Okay, then uh, we have the other one here, which is to say that I want to talk to Grace. Of course. All right. So when somebody wants to talk to Grace and all that, this is actually the end of the conversation where we will immediately say that give me your phone number and I'll be in touch. Okay. Remember, this is how this is just a template where you know I want you to start adopting this and start building your own chatbot or your flow according to your business needs. Remember a few rules of thumb here. First, not don't try to be chatty. We are not trying to you know converse. We are not trying to create a conversation, nor we are trying to solve the problem over here. We are only using the bot to bring them to the destination. And at the end of the day, if there is no purchase and all that. It's pure lead generation. We want their phone number because that's the only way we can actually get hold of them and start working with them moving forward you know, in other things. So if you're not an e-commerce, you're in this, you want to bring these people in. Okay, so this is how you can consider building your chatbot uh, for your industry if you're in MLM, network marketing, financial planning, and all this kind of thing. Okay, now, if you are in my Facebook Ads Accelerator program, Okay, if you have any questions, please head over to the private Facebook group. Uh, post me any questions. My team and I will do our best to uh, help you uh, as soon as we can. But if you're actually not in the program, I do encourage that you look for the link in the comment section or in the description section uh, below and uh, look for the link to enroll. In fact, in the Facebook Ads Accelerator, this is probably the most comprehensive Facebook Ads related learning that you want to take a look at. It's real uh, economical to start and uh, we have so many courses at the moment at, as of we are making this video there are already nine courses we have uh, close to 10 hours of content inside and we have more than 180 videos that is available currently imagine the amount of information and knowledge that you can get inside 
All right. Now, if you are really loved in this and you, you really love the way we build this, all this kind of thing, and you say that, hey, uh, Jason, I like this, but I have no time. And I really can't go through all the learning myself. I have, I have, I have other things to do. Can you help me build this? Absolutely. Just get in touch. We, have, um, we are offering this as a service to help you build your board from uh, ideation, designing, constructing, and improvising, optimizing uh, the flow for mid to long run. So yes, uh, get in touch. So yeah, so this is the flow that we built for um, network marketing, MLM industry, or financial planner industry, or any individual professional industry. Okay, so now it's your turn. Get back to your chatbot and start constructing something on your own. Okay, I look forward to see your outcome real soon. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.